Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do um, your next 72 hour energy reading. Um, thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It's much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this Aquarius. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius Collective with a clear, concise message from you. All right. Um, so Aquarius, what we have here is uh, the initial card I pulled was parental care. So it looks like there might be some role, re role reversal here where now uh, the child, you know, is becoming the parent and the parent is being, you know, cared for, care for, care for. Anyway, today has been a day. Um, you may have elderly or you know, aging parents and you may need to look after them. For some of you, um, it's becoming a bit burdensome, taxing on you, um, but you're, you know, you're up for the challenge. Some of you may even have deceased parents and you're still taking care of their estate or trying to deal with things in terms of their estate, or there's just like residual energy in terms of what they left here in this earth and you're having to deal with that. Some of you are dealing with your parents, uh, you know, every day on an everyday basis and you want to get help or you want to kind of, you know, put them into a place where other people can look after them and you're having some reservations about doing that. Some of you need to reconcile with parents and what is clarifying the parental care is the high priestess. So there's a deep understanding and knowing that maybe you need to reconcile here. Um, you guys need to dig deeper you know get to you know the meat and the potatoes of why you're not engaging here um dig deeper than the surface issues or the surface level there's so much going on than you know or than you think it's like something within yourself is telling you it's time to have a conversation it's time to move this forward it's time to heal a severed tie a connection with a parental um, a parental influence here. There's a lot of mystery and see, uh, uh, a lot of mystery and secretive nature surrounding this connection. Um, you, you, the connection could definitely between you and your parent or parents, it could definitely be surface level relationship. You know, you say you're, you know, uh, you're hello and ask a few questions but you just you don't know them and they don't know you you just don't go deep it's not a deep connection here i think the both of you feel like you can't go deeper or um somebody feels as if the other party is unapproachable um somebody could be holding a secret it could be you aquarius or it could be your family member with the high priestess here it could be some of you need to heal your relationship with your mother here um as you have gotten into spirituality, tarot card readings, the esoteric, it's like something prompting you to go backwards, heal this connection, therefore, so you can go forward. Um, you need to pay attention to like some context clues about how somebody really feels or what's going on here. Um, yeah, you could be holding a secret. Another person could be holding a secret. There's like some psychic intuition, some knowing that um, there's something hidden under the current or there's a, you know, a hidden motive or agenda here. Uh, it says don't prompt and don't coax. You know, if the person doesn't want to talk to you about it, let it be. You have a feeling that something is deeper than what it really is. Um, but you can only go with the flow here. You can't really push. Um, somebody could be very elusive right now you or your the person that you need to mend fences with which could be a parental um a parental uh your mother or your father um someone could just feel like you're some pampered princess and, and they just can't really talk to you they you're up on your high horse or you're better than them and this is what they feel about you this isn't what you have told them i hope you haven't said this to them um they could feel as if you think you're special because people treat you as 
you're special, they treat you as such. You could also be trying to have a conversation with this person, father or mother, and, and um, they're answering questions with questions, being very elusive in their responses, you know, talking in riddles. This person could just be blocking you all together also. Um, somebody just doesn't want to deal with it. They don't, they don't want to know about it and they don't want to deal with it. Your mother can be a spinster, just single, isn't interested in getting in relationships, maybe because she doesn't know how to cultivate one. And there could also be a level of jealousy um, or resentment there. I don't know, someone could view you, Aquarius, as a threat, even in your family, even in your your mother, father type of, you know, uh, relationship here. So for some of you, if it's not the fact that you need to heal something in terms of your mother or your father, you know something about your child, okay? Um, you have some inclination, some psychic uh, download, some uh, intuition about what's going on with your child or children. You can ask questions, but take a step back to um, let things unfold. Meet people where they are. As, again, don't coax your your you know uh, child or children into you know don't corner them. It seems as if this person wants to open up to you, um, but they need to learn how to do just that. They need to learn how to be open with themselves here too. You could have a child who is a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or somebody who has a lot of water in their chart or, um, yeah, water in their chart. They're kind of like ruled by the moon here. They, they have, they're moody, they go up and down. Um, they also keep things from you. There's a whole nother side to them that either you don't know about, you just haven't been privy to. Um, be their mentor. Take yourself out of the parent-child relationship and just talk to them as an individual, as a friend, as a somebody who doesn't have a dog in the fight. You're just giving your real world knowledge of, okay? Um, you guys may hear my niece in the background. Um, so then we pull the card of soulmate, all right? So this card talks about, you know, if, Whomever you came to the reading for, if you have a question of, is this my soulmate? Is this, you know, why do I have such a strong connection to this person? It's because they are your soulmate. You guys met for a reason. You could have met in previous lifetimes. Um, there is a soul connection here. It could last for a short time or a lifetime here. Um, you guys, you, you do have a soul connection. You also could speak to this person or they try to speak to you telepathically when you are around each other if you are ever you know if you are still together with this person it's like you know what they're thinking or feeling without them even saying it you guys can communicate through eye contact you get each other it's a real connection it's a soul one um and what clarified soulmate is the ace of cups so um Okay, so they want me to read this together. All right, so a relationship between you and someone else can be very cyclical. It goes in cycles here where it's very intense and then there is a period of disconnection here. Again, you could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, somebody who is affected by the tides of the moon or the moon, you know, um, they're affected by water, the rush of water, of, of emotions, they're overcome here. Um, this person, uh, you guys could be coming back together in one to 11 days or something significant is happening in one to 11 days because you also have the destiny card. So it looks like the hand of destiny is going to play a part in reconnection, reunion, or coming together to just really hash something out. Um, destined meeting here. Uh, it's going to be like by chance or, you know, the, the forces of the universe are... Um, they have other plans. You know, if you, if the relationship looked like it wasn't going well, you are on the outs, please do expect the unexpected. There could be an out, a good outcome that comes in between the two of you, you know, um, with the Ace of Cups, uh, the Lord of the Root of Waters. 
it's just like the the force. I don't know. Somebody's being forced emotionally to come to you to do something, to see something, to start something new. Somebody's being overcome with emotions. There's also psychic, you know, ability, uh, enhancement, um, inclination here. Somebody's got a an inkling that something is coming together. Somebody's also preparing to be in a commitment, be in a relationship here. Um, something could be happening around the waning, the waning or the uh, wane, yeah, the waning or the waxing moon here, because the Ace of Cups talks about the waning moon, and then the High Priestess talks about the waning and the waxing moon. So, um, do find out those times. You can always Google that. You know, where's the moon? What's the moon phase for today? Whatever, um, and uh, Google will, you know, uh, let you know what that you know, what the moon phase is. Um, it's like a reconnection here, uh, a reunion. The love is still here between the two of you. Even if there was a, a major shakeup, a, a fallout, a breakdown, it seems as if the hand of destiny wants to um, come in and um, change course for you. Something's going to be, and it also could be a new person. Okay. It also could be a new person. That's what I just heard. It'll be a new person coming in for you here. Um, around the waning waxing crescent moon one to 11 days for you it's going to be a lot of passion um between the two of you here um it's going to take a relationship it's a relationship that's going to take a lot of work especially if you have a significant history um but do expect the unexpected from the least expected person with the true gem here even in a, this card talks about engagement ring here um it could be that this person is far from you or they travel for work or there's an element of distance um also this could be someone yeah someone who travels for work drives or um they have to fly about i don't know um there's going to be a reconnection it looks like the the universe wants you to work with the three of pentacles um work on this connection the hand of destiny is a um, taking course here and the three pentacles are geometrically uh, shaped into a triangle to show the spark of the divine the masculine and the feminine energy working in synchronicity therefore it actually works it, it you know you guys can get something done you can move forward in your connection this is the initial stages uh, of creation this card also talks about uh, figuring out how to share your life with your partner um, so maybe you guys didn't do that in you know in the beginning or in the you know in the past but you will be doing it when you come back together it says that what you've been putting your efforts your talents into um, is good and it's going to pay off for you um, superiors people in your you know in your uh, field are looking at you um, produce some high quality work also for some of you you could work from home you could have an at-home business you could do bookkeeping or something where you keep records or you look at records or there's research um, you could be a librarian you could be a, once again a researcher genealogist you could be anybody somebody who is keeping track of um, the ace of cups here uh, it could be a new person coming in for you, a new soulmate, or it could be someone from the past, okay? But it's someone from at a distance or a distance, or maybe you met them while you were traveling, okay? Um, do check in with your children if you can. Check in with your parents. Um, if they're ready to have the talk, have the talk. Um, everything looks good, Aquarius. No bad cards here, all right? Um, I hope that this reading gave you a bit of clarity. If it did, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel. Um, thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you.